Josh Hart last night recorded his fourth triple-double of the season, scoring 20 points, 19 rebounds, and 10 assists. I ain't gonna lie, 19 rebounds though, Josh? Like, holy moly, man. My boy is a, a pure effort player. Um, Josh Hart is a player, you know what I'm saying, every team could honestly use. You know what I'm saying? Every team in the NBA will, you know, honestly take Josh Hart. Um, he's just a very scrappy player. He's honestly like one of the best 3 and D players in the league. You know what I'm saying? He's like literally a 3 and D guy. You know, great defense, can rebound the ball, scrappy, knock down the corner three for you. Um, he can do a little bit of everything for you out there. And another thing to mention is that OG Ananobi came back from an injury last night. And Josh Hart is suspected to lose, you know, some minutes. Um, but man, I ain't gonna lie, man. If Julius Randle comes back by the time the playoffs start, this team right here could be very deadly. Um, so watch out for the New York Knicks. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. This team, you know what I'm saying? This team is right, well, fit. I think this team is fourth in the East right now. So this team, you know, will be honestly playing like the Magic or like the Pacers right now. And I ain't gonna lie, I like, I like their chances against those two teams right there. You know, the Magic, you know, isn't really experienced in the playoffs and so is the Pacers. So um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm taking the New York Knicks over those two teams. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm even taking them over Philly. I might be stretching it there. You guys let me know down below in the comments if you're taking the New York Knicks over the Philly 76ers. Um, Joel B kind of looking hobble. We don't know if he'll be back um, by the first round of the playoffs or not um, with that knee uh, injury he suffered. So um, with them being kind of, you know, injured, I don't know. Philly fully healthy, though. They could give New York a run for their money, but I just feel like New York a little too deep for Philly. I don't think Philly will have enough firepower outside of Tyrese Maxey and uh, Joel B. I I mean, Tobias Harris could surprise us, but... Um, Tobias Harris sometimes is up and down, so we'll see how he's playing in the playoffs. Um, but I also like the snipers that they added, you know, in the uh, deadline. You know what I'm saying? They added Bogdan Bogdanovich from the Pistons. Also, Alec Burks, two shooters that's, you know, also shooting a high clip from the three-point. Um, and also just feel like everybody knows their roles on the New York Knicks. Like, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, last night, Josh Hart showed that. Um, and just, you know, top to bottom. You know what I'm saying? And then you have... The Villanova connection, you know what I'm saying, between Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, and Josh Hart. They all three play college basketball, you know, they all three play college basketball together. So, they already got that connection, you know, on and off the court. Which, in my opinion, I think that connection makes Josh Hart and Dante play better, you know, alongside Brunson. Um, I mean, we've seen these guys play good on other teams. But I honestly think, you know, this is their best stretch of basketball in a while. You know what I'm saying? These two guys... Has been playing like very, very good core basketball, like very good role players, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, I think that that connection just brings out the better, you know, the better in them, you know. Um, Brunson is their distributor, like like old times, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the leader, I ain't glad, the leader that Brunson has been, we need to talk about that real quick, man. He's averaging 27 points per game, six and a half assists on 47% field goal. I'm glad Jalen Brunson is starting to emerge as like one of my favorite players, bro. Like just the way he play, how efficient he is, how you get his players involved, and how much he can score. Like he got that perfect mix of like scoring the basketball and facilitating. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I, it was crazy. I used to always just tell, I used to always tell people like he's going to leave the Mavs. And he's going to be a number one option somewhere. I already know he is. You know what I'm saying? He's good enough to do that. Like when I was watching him in the playoffs. On the Mavs against the Jazz when Luka was injured, I'm like, bro, who is this guy? Like, I start looking into him a little bit. Six six foot guy that could really just score, bro. And just, I didn't know he could facilitate like this. You know, once he got to New York, obviously he got the ball in his hand a lot more. So, you know, he got a chance to, you know, facilitate a lot more. And this year, they have a top tier defender in OG Ananobi who could defend anyone, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That will definitely help in their playoff push this year. Um, and another thing to note is that there is optimism that their big man mitchell robinson will return which is their starting big man you know that's a big deal you know a lot of people a lot of casuals don't know who mitchell robinson is he's a great rim protector so he'll come back help them deter you know interior players out of the paint um which will be another plus for teams like the bucks you know and so on so yeah man i ain't gonna lie man the knicks are the fourth seed right now and there are three games behind the cleveland cavaliers so i guess we'll see you know what the knicks will do in the playoffs you guys let me know down below in the comments if you think the Knicks can surprise us in the playoffs. Um, me personally, I think they can. I like using them on 2K. I like Jalen Brunson. And I think if Julian Brunson, I think I said Julian, I said Julian Brunson. I think if Julius Randle could come back, I think this team can honestly beat anybody in the East. Um, not anybody, but that's a stretch. But they can they can make a little push. So you guys let me know down below in the comments 
how far you think the New York Knicks can uh, go in the playoffs this year. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smack that like button for me and let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you guys. Till next video. You dig.